name is Charlie. I'll be 20 in three weeks. I was recommended for this job as a copy boy to Chicago paper. I went down to the paper, talked to the editor, told him how much I wanted to be a journalist. He liked me, had a tie on. Coming to work for me was a kind of missionary kind of thing. I was bringing organic walnuts and organic raisins and giving them away to everybody. See, at this stage of the game, I was in a very spiritual mood. I enjoyed my work because I got the answer to the phone most of the time. People would call up and complain or have problems, and I'd tell them, this is a capitalist newspaper, and as long as it's a capitalist newspaper, it's not going to serve you, because its purpose is to make money for its owner. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd tell them to call the editor to come down and take over the paper. People responded very well to these suggestions. <laughs> then the editor calls him into his office, and he says, blah, 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 blah. I wanted to smash his face in with a baseball bat. <laughs> I mean, he's a nice person. I like him a lot. I don't know if I would get any pleasure from shooting him up with a 50 caliber machine gun and watching his body splatter to pieces. <laughs> All my fantasy spring at the paper was getting a machine gun and shooting everyone. Or getting a gun and walking into the editor's office and saying, Okay, how do you face your death? I've been thinking for weeks, what will I do when I get fired? I wanted to do something to say, hey, I'm better than you motherfuckers. I'm getting fired because I'm different. <laughs> so, what can I do to show them? Smoke a joint in the city room? Meditate in the lobby? Kidnap the editor? Shoot him? I had to think fast. So I turned to the editor and I said, I hope you can live with the conditions you're creating. Then I just turned, walked away, and started to cry. He came after me and he said, No, no, I'm not creating these conditions. You are. I said, No. I'm not the one who has the power. You're the one who has the power. Now I've gotten myself an unemployment. They were nice to me the first few times. But then this lady tells me to get a number. I wanted to tell her, fuck you. I could wait outside your apartment, beat you over the head, and steal your money. <laughs>